You better not, man. You better. Oh. Dude, why the face? Scientist. <laughs> it's the same guy. <laughs> Just kidding. I got him. Oh no, I can't do it, no. I'm freaking out because of the. In this together. That's <laughs> How was it? That was it. Yeah, how was your ride down? It was, it was great. Cool, man. Because my was great. Lonely, lonely. We did it. <laughs> what up, Andrew? The B to the A to the S I C. It's really cold out here, guys. So uh, we're in Kentucky. We're about to hit the road. We got our coffee. Heat's getting behind the wheel again. Do you want me to drive, bud? No. Let me start us off. Okay, you want me to drive in the snow in Pennsylvania? Yeah, you can finish us off in the snow. Sounds fun. Okay, he wants the liability to be on me if it was a crash. And that's that's perfectly understandable. So I actually found a vlogger in my backpack. It's kind of funny because I've been missing this camera and it was just sitting in my backpack. The battery's not fully charged, but I'll be able to vlog a little bit with it instead of on my phone. So that'll be cool. You need help? No, not this again. No. No. We'll probably come up with just some coffee. Just throw some coffee on it. Good morning, guys. We are starting out our morning with some good worship time for the kiddos. And to be quite honest, guys, I was gonna go to the gym this morning with the kids. I was gonna do several things this morning. I was very torn, and then I decided we're just gonna stay home. We have stuff to do this afternoon. I have something this evening that I'm going to, and Lily's coming over. So we're just gonna chill in our jammies at the house, but I'm going to do some exercising while the kids work out. <laughs> Guys, worship time is over. Are you ready to find out what the next thing we're gonna do is? We are going on a little scavenger hunt under the couches. I was doing my exercises under the couch and I noticed that there's a lot of stuff under there that we've probably been missing. So we're gonna go on a little scavenger hunt under the couch and see what we can find. Everybody has to find three things and then we're gonna lay them out on the table and we're gonna see what kind of treasure you came out with. On your mark, get set, go! There's two couches. You're both under the same one. I'm on the back of the couch. Oh, I found some cups. Ooh, I found a pickle. All right, Symphony yeah. found two sippy cups and a bracelet. Yeah. All right, let's see your pile, buddy. I found, I found your right. trashed up water bottle and you and Daddy in the box. All right. Okay, you guys thought the scavenger hunt was over, but it's not. Yeah. So we're, we're gonna go back under the couch, but this time you have to come out with something that starts with a T. On your mark, get set, go! Anything, look for it. It could be a T-Rex, it could be trash, it could be a two... Teacup! Oh, good job, Symphony! Remember, trash can count. All right, so trash. Are you guys ready for your third thing on the scavenger hunt? Okay, this one's really good. It might be kind of tricky but I know it's there because I looked for myself. Number three on the couch scavenger hunt is to find two things that are yellow. On your marks, get set, go! Yellow, 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 yellow! I got my yellow. Wow, Sissy, I can't believe you actually found two yellow things. That's really good. I found two of the same. All right, take them to the trash. You guys both found trash. Okay guys, number four on your scavenger hunt list for under the couch is come out with some sort of toy. Any okay. sort of toy, but not that Nerf gun. <laughs> Remember, there's two different couches and you can look really far back in there. You ponytail, wait, no, that ponytail's not toy. What'd you find, Symphony? An LOL surprise thing yeah. and a block, good job. You see a toy under there, Abel? I found my octopus. <laughs> Get it, get it. What a squishy little worm. What'd you get? Let's see, let's see. Oh, yay, Hachi. All right, guys, scavenger hunt time is over and it is officially snack time. Just spotted a T-Rex in Kentucky. Oh yeah, dang, that thing's awesome, wow. Dinosaur worm.
Steve is handing the keys over to me now. Are you sure you want to do this? Even after you just hit that pole? Uh, did you see what you did? I was already like that. Are you sure? Yeah. The thing that's all bent it in? Yeah, it was already like that. Okay, good. He just kind of... I just kind of reaffirmed Rubbed against where the pole. It was at. It really short in this truck, man. I feel like it's... I feel like I'm too big, too little for it. I mean... It's supposed to work the other way around. Like, it makes you feel more like a man. <laughs> just thought I'd check in with you guys. We're, we're filling up here at the gas station. Filling we're in, up? We're in Ohio now. We're in Cincinnati. What? Did you say we're throwing up? Filling up. Oh. Yeah, you know, gas. And we just felt filled up at Subway. Too. Here we go. Ooh, this thing is heavy. We're in our super. Oh shoot, dude! You tell me the gas is still attached. The sure? gas is still is on it? there. Are you serious? You didn't take it off. You're on this. You're on that side. I can't see nothing. Oh my gosh! It's like stretched to the max. Are you serious? Yes, dude. You're on that side. I thought for sure you took it out. I didn't see it. I came around this way. Are you doing this full blow? Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Just kidding. I got him. Did it make your heart go a little bit though? Dude, I actually did that on a trip like two years ago. <laughs> did you really? And I didn't, I yanked the thing out and I just kept going. It, no, <laughs> you yanked it out? It broke? I don't think it broke, but it just like, yanked out of my... Oh, it actually came out? Oh, like, that's good. I was so embarrassed, I was like, I'm not even turning around. So. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so humiliating. <laughs> what are we doing? We're going around there? Why don't we just pull yeah, it here? Just, just follow it, man. Go to the parking lot? Yeah. My favorite store is Walmart and Target. I actually know he said Walmart. That's okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> All right, Symphony, time for you to work on your handwriting. Watermelon. Ooh, watermelon. Cursive and normal. Okay, Abram. Let's see. We're going to open it up and do a section. Josie's going to just color. All right, Bubby, let's see how we can do with following instructions. Yes, we need to find the cards with a capital big N on it and circle it. Yeah. Symphony, you did that all on your own? Let me see this. Let's look at that. Mommy, look at it. Wow, sister, that's really good. Mommy, Are you all done with that one, the N? Yep. Tell me something N stands for. Mm. Nia? Yes. What about nice? What about fan? No. no. What about noodle? No? Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Noodle. Yes. 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 Mommy. You're welcome. How's it going, little one? Is it good? good? Yes, it is. Dude, how do mermaids go poop? I'm not a mermaid expert. I have no idea. It's weird. Because I'm thinking about Ariel right now, and I'm wondering, like, why does she want to be a human? Like, she never has to poop as a mermaid. Like, that would be so awesome if I never had poop, like right now. Dang, that would be awesome. <laughs> ask it. I am not asking. I am not going to be the one to ask that. No. How do you ask that? No. Really? How do mermaids poop? You day! <laughs> I'm not. So, I will say, without a shadow of a doubt, in my mythical universe, mermaids do not poo or pee. However, if you are imagining a mermaid to be part fish, part human, I would say that they poo through their anus like a normal fish. Hey Siri, how do mermaids poop? My web search turned something up for how do mermaids poop. Oh, Have cool. a look. Your phone's better, man. It actually answers the question. Mine doesn't do that. Okay, guys. Juliet's lunch is over, and it's time for me to dress her. They took a bath this morning, and this is a very momentous, special time for mommy to dress Juliet. Today she's going to be wearing, for the first time, this precious flower dress from H&M. This was Symphony's dress when she was, you know, 18 months to 24 months old, and it was my absolute favorite dress. Oh my goodness! It's so special! Oh my goodness! 
Sissy. Do you remember this dress? Kind of. That was your favorite dress. Well, my favorite dress for you when you were little. Oh, my darling girl. My heart just cannot even handle it. We got to take a picture in it and show everybody. Okay, so as usual, I've got to reinvent the photo that I got of Symphony. And she was standing right out here in front of the porch. Hi, Okay guys, this was Symphony at 21 months old 21. in the dress and Juliet is 21 months old wearing it today. Hey guys, nap time is over and did a little bit sooner than normal, I'm kind of frazzled. We are going to a birthday party. Snow. Look at that. You better not, man. You better. Oh. Dude, why? Why the face? He went straight for my face. Oh, come on, dude. I didn't even hit you. That's messed stop. Oh, man. I can't do it while I'm holding the camera. Oh. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's do this. He really got into that snowball fight. You okay, bud? I think I'm gonna make it. Are we in Pennsylvania, by the way? Uh, no, we're still in Ohio. Okay. We're close, though. We're gonna be in the Erie the pretty soon. The big Texas in oh. Ohio. Oh, you just can't it's get away. About, it's all about Texas, bro. Dude, you should just come back. Come back now while you still can. It's a sign. I'm supposed to turn around. Let's turn around. Man. Yeah, let's do it. Come on. I know we're almost there, but. I agree, man. It's off. This is Call me the cold girls telling we're canceling the trip. The, the move. We're canceling the move. That's the thing about Texas. You get this freezing weather, but you don't get the beautiful snow with it, you know? You get the downside, the ice and the, everything freezing, but you don't get this beautiful pureness. Man, I wish I lived in the snow. I, mean, I wish it's so bad. I love the snow. Look how powdery this snow is. It's so powdery. Made it to Heath's new hometown. Here it is. This is what it looks like at night. Do we have any fans in Warren, Pennsylvania? That's where this guy's moving to. I'm kind of scoping out. It looks a lot like Terrell. It's really interesting. Like a lot of the same places and stuff. They got Super Walmart, which is the biggest thing. Look how beautiful it is, man. It's so cool right here. There's a massive mountain right here, right in front of this house. This house is ready for St. Patrick's Day and Easter. Easter, St. Patrick's Day. 
Bottom story St. Patty's, top story is Easter. Here we are, Heath's new home. We're gonna give you guys a tour of this antique home tomorrow. <laughs> this place is, it's, it's pretty crazy, it's, pretty, it's a spectacle. So it's a queen size we're sleeping on together? So it's a king, now it's a queen, what's next? That's the queen, yeah, yeah, we're gonna go full, then we're gonna go twin. We're just gonna go all the way. Yeah, we're gonna go all the way. <laughs> oh no, you guys, I'm so close to the road for our house, and I have to turn around and go all the way around. That sucks, but I hope everyone's okay. I hate turning around in these close corners like this. Oh my gosh, it stresses me out so bad. I'm just gonna do it with you guys, because then I don't feel as crazy for trying to like. I am terrified of turning around in this tiny space right here. Oh no, I can't do it, you guys. I'm kind of freaking out because the ditch is very steep. I'm terrified right now. Okay, perfect, I did it, I did it. I'm turning around now. I'm turning around, sort of. When I was about 13 or 14, my uh, mom and I were in a car accident. We were going very, very slow. It was raining, but we were going slow and safe and somehow just like in slow-mo flipped over. And so I'm terrified of even shallow ditches. The line just keeps going and doesn't <laughs> stop until we hit yeah, my mouth. <laughs> keeps going. Don't oh, clearly I have moved on to our spontaneous girls' night. Lauren's over. Hey, girl. Hi. Hey. Hi. How was your day? It's good. We're not <laughs> saying anything on the vlog. No. <laughs> like I'm, I'm like a tyrant. Like, yeah, she's <laughs> <Yes, thank you. laughs> Sandy, how was your day? That's great. <laughs> Sandy has a birthday party tomorrow. For Ooh, Kate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we got a balloon artist coming. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys can look forward to that. There's a balloon artist. Uh, Remember how the last party at Sandy's house had a scientist? <laughs> <laughs> it's the same guy. <laughs> Eric is supposed to be a scientist. <laughs> Hang on, let me finish this. You're gonna hear us. <laughs> Let's think of really awkward things to ask him to make. Can you, you make me? No wiener dog. <laughs> That's no, no. You know he's really good at making worms, snakes. <laughs> oh wait, the other thing. I don't know. What's Carrot, it? hot dog. <laughs> Lauren's gonna do comment of the day. Okay, <laughs> comment of the day goes to Jade Claflin. Sorry if I said your last name wrong. <laughs> Are you guys going to have another baby? Can this please be the comment of the day? Oh, I wasn't supposed to read that part. <laughs> That's okay. Sorry, Jade. So, Nia, Sam, are you guys going to have another baby? I don't know. I'm sure sometime somewhere around the road there'll be a baby popping around somewhere, but not for me, not from anyone. I don't know. We're filming this over here. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you come back for the balloon artist and oh, have a good day. <laughs> don't forget, we love you. And remember to love each other. The kids keep picking me flowers, it's so sweet. Oh, jeez. Poor guy. Oh, man, it's sad. Okay, guys, we are going to be starting an Easter project. So basically, we're going to miss our flight. That's what I'm trying to do here. Fuck. <laughs> what the heck? No. Look at this. Photo oh, no. op. So stupid. It's filming a little bit through. Oh, now it pops up. Okay. 